Yes. Yeah. So, and consequently, right now you're bringing it up because the awareness is not touched. So, when this is happening, this internal battle is happening, which one are you? Are you the internal noises or you're the awareness of the internal noises? It feels like a lot of times I identify with the victim. I identify partially with the one that's attacking and then partially with the one that's feeling like it's getting attacked. And then between the two, it's, yeah, it's a mess. And then right. to right. step back in, into the awareness, um, yeah, it just depends on how stirred up I get. Sometimes it can take the rest of the day to get back into it. Right, right, right. So sometimes it takes a whole day of mind boggling before you come back to your center. So, and then when you come back to the center, then is the center disturbed? No. No, the center remains the center, right? Right. So what can it, can it do to you? Okay, hold on. You're in a very good place. I'm really happy we're talking about this. I really appreciate it. There is an awareness, there is a seer, there is a, there is a witness. Something greater inside is present. It's like this. Check this out. And these things are happening in front of it. And there is something is right here. This part is not having any judgments. It doesn't care. It's simply aware of an internal battle. It's simply aware of a mind that is going crazy and is chattering like, you idiot, you ordered the wrong thing. How many times you can do this? You're stupid. You never get it. You always do this and you because you have these problems and blah, 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 blah. You're hearing the chatter. So the chatter is appearing to a greater intelligence that doesn't have a judgment. It's simply aware of noises happening. So what you want to do is simply bringing your attention to this other part of yourself effortlessly by, by bringing your attention to the part which is aware of the chatter, but not the content of the chatter. Right. So every time you bring your attention to this part, then you recognize the truth of who you are. It's similar, similar to the blue sky. Where do you live? Where, what part of the world do you live? Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay, so you have a lot of nice sunny days. And, and, unless there's this, the rainy season, correct? Yeah. <laughs> So you, you, okay, so you, the, the blue sky, you have this beautiful blue sky, and then there's clouds come and the rainy season starts or really a nasty dark cloud comes and it dumps and it's really raining like crazy. And, and then what happens? It does its thing for half an hour, an hour or two. And then what happens after? the storm goes away, correct? Correct. Yeah, it doesn't stay there all the time. So it rises, it happens, and then it goes away. And then when it goes away, what do you see when you're looking up in the, in the 
assuming it's daytime and you're looking up in the sky after the storm goes away, what do you see? Blue sky. Blue sky. So how many times, how many of these storms throughout the time you lived in Hawaii have you seen? Hundreds. 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 Has ever any of them been able to affect the color of sky? Does the sky no. ever say, oh, my feelings are hurt. I'm not going to be blue anymore. I'll be pink. Or you, you, because all these storms come and I have childhood traumas, now there is some kind of scratches on the sky. Does it? <laughs> so, the storm comes, it does its thing, and then it goes away, and the blue sky remains the blue sky. Exactly the same thing is what's going on here. You're, by bringing your attention on this other part of yourself, the real part of yourself, who is the witness, the one that is aware of this storm. The storm starts to happen and your mind is going crazy. Most Just ask who is aware. And I've, and I've practiced that before when things come up, shift into this awareness, like what is aware of all of this right now? And um, it feels like I, I have, feels like sometimes I get uh, uncentered and focused a lot on what other people think and feel and how they're going to react and how they're going to see me or see the situation instead of like honoring how I feel and like that I actually deserve to feel good and that I deserve to to even you know shift into the awareness instead of be being uh, beat up right on the inside right well it's first of all what you're sharing with us is you're not the only one a lot of people go through this and so this is very courageous of you i admire you to openly share your concerns and your struggle thank you very much i appreciate it this is very normal it happens to a lot of people and so this is how you deal with it. Um, most of us are going to go take different workshops and different practices, various practices of finding a way to overcome these emotions. And then we start working our, on our childhood issues and trying to fix different things. The problem is that we're trying, it, it doesn't get fixed. We're, tr we're resisting what appears, what shows up, like resisting a storm is, I have no power in manipulating a storm. I can't just snap my finger and do something that the storm disappears. And the more I resist the storm, the storm doesn't give a shit. The storm is going to do its thing. I will suffer because I'm resisting what is happening right now. So instead of if I shift myself and come back into this place of simply acknowledging that a storm is happening, 